Oh my gosh. <laughs> she is here. We have B. I managed to already damage my album, but uh, you know, otherwise it's in a really great condition. <laughs> I went to Target this morning and I managed to get a copy. They had so many. I got there like right when the store opened. So I got like the first pick and I was really, really happy about that. <laughs> so let's open her up. Oh my gosh. Wait, is all of this part of it? Wait. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. Come out, come out. Oh my. Okay, so everything comes out of the box. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We're doing this, I guess. Oh, I don't know, where do I start? This is our track lyric poster. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh! Oh gosh. Okay, so first we have our track listing, which honestly, okay, I'm gonna, <laughs> I have to because like this album, oh my gosh. So, um, life goes on. I, you know what, I, I like this, it was a little like, okay, at first listen, but as you continue to listen to it, it's just so pretty and it's simple but not at the same time. And I feel like you appreciate more of the layers to the song as you continue to listen to it. It's one of those that just kind of is like, okay, I have to hear this a little bit more. Like it's it's kind of like Spring Day for me. Like Spring Day, I was not convinced on at all when I first heard it. I, I wasn't, I was just like, oh, a slow song wonderful and then well look spring day is still charting on melon in korea so i mean obviously it's a great song and it definitely grew on me the fly to my room is a unit song with tay tay yungi jimin and hosuk and it is so good like i oh my gosh i I just love every single track. I don't think there's anything else I can possibly say, but the way that Yoongi came in on this song, <laughs> it took me out at first because you start off with Tay and Jimin and their vocals and they're like really showing the fuck out. And I'm like, I was thinking, how the hell are the rap rappers going to come into this song? Like, are they gonna sing? Like what's gonna happen? And um, no, they, they, just, they just came in. <laughs> and it was, it was so good. It was so perfect. And then Blue and Gray is just this beautiful, kind of heart-wrenching song. The vocal line really just pulled everything out of their souls for this song because it is beautiful. It is stunning. And I, I don't even feel worthy of listening to it because it's so pretty. And it just takes you to another place. It feels like it's building an atmosphere. It's so, so good. This is the song that Tay previewed on um, In the Soup which is really awesome. And I'm so proud of him. He really did the damn thing. And I'm really happy that this could be an OT7 song too. We have our skit, which is talking about the Billboard Hot 100. <laughs> it's really cute. And um, it's really nice that they brought back the skits because they haven't done that in a really long time. And that is such a BTS thing to have a skit on the album. And then we have, what is this song? What is this called? Telepathy, that's what it is. The song is so good. As soon as I heard it, I was like, yes. This is the song, the song. And um, this is also another song that was kind of previewed on In The Soup. Like as soon as the skit happened, we got all of the fun dance songs. So then we have Dis Ease. It's brilliant, brilliant, just brilliant. I love the disc jockey uh, sound in there. And then the bridge. Jimin, his mind, like it's so good. How do you think of these things? He's a genius, he's a genius. Yeah, all of these songs I can't wait to hear live. Like I hope they do another concert or we get some type of something because I need to hear all of them, the whole album live, ASAP. And then we have Stay, <laughs> Jungkook said that he was thinking about having for the end of his mixtape, which his mixtape, oh my gosh, I cannot wait for that. It's just one of those songs that just makes you want to jump. And Jungkook, Jin and Namjoon did amazing on this song. It's so, so good. And then of course we have Queen Dynamite and yeah. Sorry, I just really wanted to go through the track listing because I just think this album is so good and I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I, I cried <laughs> multiple times last night.
And then it's just all of their things twos, which um, it looks like Tay has the shortest one. Wow. They look good. They look so good. The frame. I can't remember what all is in here. The frame? Oh, it's the CD. <gasps> look at the CD plate. Wait. I feel like have they ever had their faces on a CD plate before? Oh my goodness. They look good. Yes. Okay, my babies. Yungi painted this during his uh, live streams on YouTube. So it's really nice to see what it ended up being for. He said it was for the album, but um, a lot of people thought that he was making the cover for the album, but it was this. So we have Life Goes On, group picture, there's nothing on the back, and then we have, these are so different, I love this, Namjoon in his room, oh my gosh, these are so cute, look at Yuri, <laughs> oh, he is so cute, Jimin. kind of a little bit seductive, don't you think? <laughs> oh my goodness. And then... Hosuk. I, I love this couch, honestly. If I ever had a place and I had like, you know, tons of money, I would find a way to have this couch in my house somewhere. That's what would happen. I'm telling you now. So cute. Oh, I love these cards. These are so good. I love this. Like if I had to like, um, this is the vibe I picture for like your beauty room or like your closet, like your big walk-in closet. And like, you know, you have like a little seating area <laughs> in your closet. This, this is the vibes I would go for. Oh, oh, he's so cute. Look at Tay. Oh, baby, so precious. I love that. My heart. Oh, look at them with the kissy faces. I love. Oh, they're so cute. I wish this was a big poster. That's the full set of photo cards. Making of book for B. I wish I could read this. Oh, I mean, I know it's probably just like the lyrics or like little notes or something, but oh, seriously, I wish I could. Wow, Jimin is so pretty. Wow, wow, wow. So, so pretty. <laughs> like, is he for real? This reminds me of that one tweet he did where um, when he was in Paris, uh, was he in Paris? I don't remember, but like the one, that's what the vibe is like. <laughs> he is such a tease, I swear. So pretty. Oh, look at them! <laughs> is that <a> chin? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, the violin! He played his violin. I love that. Yes, Jean. Like an echo in the forest. I'm gonna get the lyrics down. I'm gonna get them down one of these days. <laughs> like an arrow in the blue sky. Oh my gosh. Vision. Like, how are they all so good looking? <laughs> I don't really think that's fair. <laughs> Oh my gosh, 
stay. I'll be wherever you stay. And now we are finally at the photo book. So there are like two. Wait. Oh, wow. I guess we're going to look at. Huh? Did they just drop a music video? What is this? Army version? Oh no, it says coming soon. Oh my gosh, I was literally like, what? <laughs> Should I send in my clip? Oh, it's via TikTok? It's so cool seeing their names in like the production credits. Are these supposed to be like torn out? Because like this is very um, postcard binding. Oh shoot. Well, I think I already broke it. Oops. <laughs> the music video was absolutely stunning. Jungkook, you know, he did amazing. He did that. He did that. He really, really did. Like, pulled at my heartstrings, made me cry. I think we all know the transition that made me cry. It was the one with Jin. When it switched to that stadium, oh my. <laughs> I, the tears just would not stop. I could not deal with it. Okay, so we have a group photo. And then over here. <laughs> Bulletproof Cheetah Boys, yes. We love it. <laughs> Oh, they look so good. <laughs> like these outfits. Hey. Yeah, yeah, they're a problem. They are a problem. Like, let's look at this really. Like, let's look at this in detail. Like, they're a problem. Do you see them? Really? <laughs> this is how they decide to dress? Dangerous. They are very dangerous. Dangerous men, I am telling you. Of course this happens to me. I'm sure everyone else who's an unboxer handled this a lot better than I did and probably had a lot more success. And yet there's me ripping apart my photo book. Oh, my favorite photo cards are the ones from In the Mood for Love. Wait, is that what it is? In the Most Beautiful Moment in Life. I don't know what the title of the Dang Gone album is anymore. Part one, <laughs> the um, nine photo photo cards are my favorite. This is amazing. I love this.
Oh yes, the cheetah boys. There weren't as many pictures of them in the cheetah outfits as I kind of thought there would be. I mean, these epic looks, you would think. <laughs> All right, minus the fact that I totally took apart my photo book, I am just so proud of these boys and like their vision and just the whole concept around this and just their minds. The buildup for this comeback, it, 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 it was like one of the only things that like really kept me, I mean, I feel like this could seem a little bit dramatic, but it was one of the things that really kept me going the past few months, just knowing that this comeback was coming, knowing that, you know, they could drop a live at any moment, telling us more information about this comeback and knowing that they really wanted this album to comfort and heal and just putting their very honest, feelings into it. I feel like this album is gonna go into the ranks with Mono, um, the playlist that Namjoon came out with. It's very short, very to the point, but it takes you through and just very calming and it just, I don't know, I really, like listen, I'm still gathering my thoughts, I'm very much all over the place, but I just really, I really, the growth that BTS has had over the past seven, eight years has been just such an honor to be able to see, just to be able to see them go from too cool for school to this is just like, this ease is literally a song that sounds like it could have been on Dark and Wild, but it feels more like what they have evolved to now, the growth that they have seen as artists. And you can feel each of their personalities in different points of it. And I I really love it. I love it. I feel, yeah, this is just such a special album. Anyways, this is the deluxe version of the album. I do not know if there is going to be a standard version. Um, there has been no word <laughs> if there is going to be a standard version, but since it says deluxe, you can only have a deluxe version if there's a standard. <laughs> so I don't know what the plan is. So if you want to get your hands on this version of the album, I definitely say that you should jump on it very soon. I don't really know how long they're going to stock it. I'm imagining that most stores, whatever stock they have received is all they're going to get. And once that stock is sold out, there will not be a restock of the album. And I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say. Just, just enjoy it. Just listen to the music. Just listen to what BTS has told us and their story. And um, don't worry about the other stuff and keep streaming. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment um, your favorite song off of the album. I think my favorite song is, I really love the title track. I really love Telepathy and Disease. Yeah, and of course Queen Dynamite, of course I do. Um, those are my favorite songs. Let me know what yours are and uh, subscribe if you have not already and follow me on my other social media where I scream about BTS a lot of the time. And I think that's it. Happy B-Day, happy comeback and please stay safe out there. Bye. <laughs>